We all understand that risk stratification of patients with non-ischemic dilated cardiomyopathy is primarily based on left ventricular ejection fraction, right? Well, despite our beliefs, maybe LVEF is not the best indicator and superior prognostic factors are always welcome. Now in JAMA, researchers report on whether myocardial fibrosis detected by late gadolinium enhancement cardiovascular magnetic resonance imaging is an independent and incremental predictor of mortality and sudden cardiac death in patients with cardiomyopathy. They prospectively studied 472 patients with dilated cardiomyopathy and looked at all cause mortality as well as a bunch of secondary endpoints. Their findings were that mid-wall fibrosis turns out to be an important prognosticator. The presence of fibrosis and the extent were independently and incrementally associated with all-cause mortality. Fibrosis was also independently associated with cardiovascular mortality or cardiac transplantation. Addition to fibrosis to ejection fraction significantly improved risk reclassification for all-cause mortality and sudden cardiac death. So here's the bottom line. Assessment of mid-wall fibrosis by late gadolinium enhancement cardiovascular magnetic resonance provided independent prognostic information beyond ejection fraction in patients with non-ischemic dilated cardiomyopathy. What does it mean? First of all, it adds to our use of ejection fraction only, but of course the role of cardiac magnetic resonance imaging in the risk stratification of dilated cardiomyopathy still needs further investigation. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.